losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe Welcome Some back to Turn 5 Awkward, awkward High five. 5 Today, we have a 2007 Porsche Cayman for you to learn about in our review video. Let's hit it. Come along with us as we give you our review and impressions of this glorious 2007 Porsche Cayman that I'm so happy, so happy that you bought. We're completely unbiased and we'll give you the exact uh, yeah. figures. We don't even really <laughs> like Porsches. <laughs> so be prepared for a very factual and very unbiased review. Yeah. What do you say to go for a drive? I, I, come join us in the car! Pyramid scheme! We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious in panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness Yeah, we have been able to enjoy this Cayman for the better part of four months. Yep. I must say it's the greatest thing you have ever done. I mean, you learn how to walk. Ah, that's all right. You can talk. You haven't stopped since. <laughs> Except for when you take all my thunder in these videos. And then it leads us up to the point where you bought this gorgeous 2007 Porsche Cayman. It is mid-engine perfection. Sure, it has 245 horsepower, not an enormous amount, but with it's like under 3,000 pounds, it's horsepower per weight ratio is amazing. And it, it's a rocket ship. It is. This thing is nuts. And with the fab speed exhaust, which is something that every Porsche Cayman owner needs to get, it sounds just as good as it looks. And you got those nice little burbles. They're probably not coming through, but they're coming through my brain, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, you enjoying it more since the winter tires are no longer on it? Yeah, so we got the Pirelli, what do you got on here? They're just Pirelli P0s. Not just Pirelli P0s, they, they are Pirelli P0s. <laughs> I mean, we are on a race course, ready for takeoff. Here we come, Elon Musk, second Elon Musk. Uh, reference in our videos, just so you know. <laughs> Maybe keep a count and tell us how many there are. Oh, the song of this thing is just amazing! 245 horsepower, 201 foot-pound, pound-feet, torques, whatever you want to call it, it's that figure. It feels way more than 245 horsepower. Oh yeah, 100%. So, as a reference, my Cayenne, which isn't a great, really, reference to the Cayman. Um, wow, it's hard to pay attention because this is just so much fun. So my Cayenne weighs uh, 5,000 pounds, has 400 horsepower. This thing we have tested is much quicker and much faster. Yes. Because it tops out at what? 161 <laughs> miles per hour. I think we just got there. <laughs> oh, it just sounds so good. Just a little fast speed exhaust. Some nice tires. I'm sorry. This is it. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to pull over and let you take over. All right. Well, thank you for taking over. Yeah, it's my turn to have some, you know, a little bit of fun. That symphony, you have to experience it. I can't, you can't explain it. No, it's, you drive something with an aftermarket exhaust for like in the Cayman or the 911 or any flat six engine that Porsche produces and it sounds just amazing. I think having an aftermarket exhaust on a Porsche 911 or Cayman with just enough to like slightly annoy the neighbors is what you need. Yes. So, 
I just want to go through my car history and why I don't think 245 horsepower is too little for this car. First car, Chevrolet Aveo, about 100 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> All of 100 horsepower. <laughs> Very slow. Second car, Audi TT. It was quick, but nothing crazy. Third car, red GTI, you guys saw that. It was quick, but nothing crazy. Blue GTI, then this. This thing tears down the streets. So if you're coming from a three, four, five hundred horsepower car, you're probably not gonna think this is that fast. Don't start with a Lamborghini Huracan and go to this. Yes, but for anybody that is looking to get into the sports car market, this is perfect. All right, so the glorious sound is not coming from the front. No, it comes from the middle, between the two wheelbases, or wheels. So you got a pretty much a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Yep. And the engine is just singing behind your ears. Yeah, it sings a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> Grip is fantastic. Yep. <laughs> uh, this car, like, it's the best sports car I've ever driven. I've driven the Cayman S and this. The Cayman S, yes, has some more shove to send you. Because you're looking at 290-ish horsepower. Yeah, but it's not necessary. The Cayman S is about as fast as a 996-911, base 911. That's how fast it is. And that is great, but if you want a Canyon Carver and you don't want to spend and break the bank, this is it. This this thing. This is, and you brought up a good point when we were kind of researching. The Cayman S, the 987 Cayman S in today's market, you might as well find a nice example 996. Yep. 100% because you get a 911 and it has the 911 characteristics that everybody loves. It's the purest car. Right. You got the rear engine, the classic from 1964. All the way to the day you get that lineage. Yes. This is the new boss of Porsche. It really is. With the GT4 RS that they finally done, oh. it's the boss. Yes. Having a mid-engine car is the greatest. <laughs> you can corner quickly with confidence. That's. This car is confidence inspiring. So every time I'm going around a corner, I'm like, I I think I should probably not go that fast. The car's, it just doesn't. It. It's very content going around that fast. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like that fast? Yeah. All right, let's finish this Canyon Carve and give him some final thoughts and explain in one concise statement maybe why this continues to amuse us surprise us and gain a huge following in our hearts yes so that is the 2007 Porsche Cayman that belongs in everybody's garage it is confidence in a can I will say this you can't have this one this one's mine uh, remember I won it in a bet a few videos ago. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> did it? Yes, it did happen. <sighs> Five speed manual, mid engine, 245 horsepower, gobs of fun, enough power to get in trouble. And if you get the dot two 987 Cayman, I would be okay with an automatic because it gets the PDK. But in this one, you get Tiptronic, and I would you stay don't away from it. Steer away from Tiptronic. It is about fast enough, though, that you you. I can see why you need a PDK. Yep. All right. Any other last thoughts besides just looking at this glorious beast? Um, go out and buy one. All right. Well, and with that, that was our completely unbiased review. Because we don't even like Porsches. Was it even really a review? <laughs> or was it just having fun? Awkward high five. Thanks for coming along with us. Pyramid scheme. Subscribe, like, comment. Drive a Porsche Cayman. Come say hi to us. What's next video? Uh, is it Cars and Coffee already? I think it should be. Come see us at Cars and Coffee next weekend. Shanhassen, Minnesota. Till next time, we'll see you with the Porsche. 
Oh, 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 oh,